In this video, we're going to be talking about superior facet orientations. This is something that you need to know for many exams, including the complex. So first of all, what are we even talking about when we say superior facets? So if we zoom in, let's look at the cervical region here. And if we take C4 here, now the top part of C4 is going to be the superior articular facet. And so if we look at this in context, we were talking about this part right here. Now this part is articulating with the inferior facet of C3. Now what we're talking about here is simply the orientation of the facets. So what do these facets here actually look like? And they're going to look different between the cervical region, the lumbar region, and the thoracic region. So to take another example, in the thoracic region, if we hide this one above it, what we're looking at are these facets. Notice how this is a little bit different than how they looked up here. And in the lumbar region, notice how the superior facets look even a little bit more different. So what do you need to know for the complex or for exam purposes? So let's start a chart. And on the left side, we're going to have location. On the right side, we're going to have orientation. So what do you need to know? In the cervical region, the superior facets are oriented backwards, upwards, and medial. So bum, that should be easy to remember. So let's take a look at one of the cervical levels. So upwards is here. Medially is kind of hard to see, but you see uh, on the side that there's a little elevation, so there's a little bit of medial. And of course it's backwards, it's facing the back. In the thoracic region, the facets are oriented backwards, upwards, and laterally. So if we take a look at one of these thoracic vertebral levels, let's pick this one for example, and we take a look at it from a posterior view, the superior facets here are located mostly backwards and upwards, and I guess they say they have a little bit of lateral in them, which I don't really, it's kind of hard to see the lateral. Let's pick another one and see if we can see it. So this is just to give you a visual. Now this is considered backwards, again, upwards, and lateral. And so you see that there's a little bit of a lateral turn to these facets. And then we have the lumbar region, which is the most distinct, which has the same orientation as cervical. Usually they just say in books, backwards and medial. So if we take a look at the lumbar region, you'll notice that these facets here are backwards, upwards and medial so they're kind of angled in a medial direction so that's really all you need to know the cervical region you, you can just consider cervical and lumbar as the same so the cervical region is going to be backwards upwards medial thoracic lateral lumbar medial